welcome to today's video. Pat and I are going to do the class workout. We are actually here when there isn't class going on because our classes have been filling up and we've asked our coaches as well as ourselves not to take spots in class. However, we still do it and we enter our scores in Wattify, which is really fun. And it's something that I found that I really need. So I was working out by myself in our garage. Pat and I would do some stuff together, but it was usually Imam style. And it became a little bit more challenging to almost go head to head in a sense because our space is a little bit smaller. So coming off quarantine, I think the number one thing that I noticed was, wow, okay, I'm somewhat fit. I feel pretty good. I'm, I'm not injured. However, my intensity is lacking. And I think that is something that I noticed in the road competition just recently was, wow, I have to figure out how to push and I have to figure out how to go to that dark place. And class definitely helps me do that. So if you're an athlete coming off quarantine or looking to compete i highly recommend just to get back into it get your intensity back up if you don't typically do class hop into some classes you'll be amazed at how much higher you can drive your intensity and how much harder you can push yourself i love it i look forward to it and so i'm trying to do it at least twice a week right now if not three times uh, so today we're gonna warm up we're gonna hit the class workout which is a super fun one it's got a lot of gymnastics in it some higher volume lighter squatting which is something that i love and then we'll hit some accessories and some strength. So today it's gonna to be some 400 meter runs, some back squats, 400 meter runs, some pull-ups, toes to bar, and burpee bar muscle ups. So it's gonna be a good day and I have some numbers that I'm chasing from those early morning guys that definitely laid it down. One thing that I've definitely been focusing on right now, you can see it's super sunny. I think it's gonna be like 89 or 90 degrees and it's pretty humid here, is my hydration. So. I've actually experienced in a couple comp competitions where I've pretty much bumped and my electrolyte balance has gotten off. So something I've learned and I've been focusing on is I always count my food, but now I'm also tracking water. And it's something that seems silly, like we know we should be drinking tons of water, but I'm taking a 25 ounce shaker bottle and I'm making sure I drink a minimum of five of them a day, which is 125 ounces. So. It, it just makes you feel better. You're gonna notice a huge difference uh, in how you feel. And at first you're probably gonna wake up three or four times a night and pee, but your body needs it. And it needs it to keep your energy levels high and to help you feel good and also to help you recover. Because we don't wanna not hydrate and be dehydrated. We're gonna cramp and we're gonna possibly get injured. So that's one of my little tricks. I put a Pedialyte in, so we buy the Pedialyte packets. And I like to put in a Pedialyte at least one a day um, i'll do a half a packet with a little bit of salt in the morning and a half a packet with a little bit of salt in the afternoon and then i also take electrolyte taps so i think it's super super important just to make sure that you're focusing on your hydration just as much as you are on your nutrition so you're not bunking if your energy levels are low definitely start to count your water and just be very aware of how much water you're putting in but also your sodium and your electrolyte balance as well so we can always pump too much water in so we want to make sure that we have some salt or we're taking those electrolyte tablets if we are sweating a whole bunch uh, or more than normal as the seasons begin to change and as it begins to get more humid and a little bit hotter all right so this is one of my first workouts kind of feeling normal again i found a massage therapist that helped me out tremendously um, and I feel like I did really good during quarantine and then right after my back locked up and I almost couldn't do anything for three weeks. I was barely able to ride the C2 bike and I feel like I turned into a thick kid. So I'm gonna be huffing wind right now, trying to keep up with Christy, but it does feel good to be back. Um, it's a super light workout, so at least the weight won't hold me back too much and um, it should be fun. The workout is, um, today is actually, it's our class workout as well as our IBEX 60 workout, which is a 400 meter run, then 42 back squats with the barbell just empty then 21 pull-ups next round 400 meter run 30 front squats with the barbell uh, 15 total bar 400 meter run nine overhead squats and nine burpee bar muscle ups so should be fun You about to witness is the underdog on a mission to be winning. Smoke the opposition, got no competition. I'm driven by the thought of turning doubts to contradiction. Since a young kid, view the world as my own. I'm coming to the top until the world is my throne. Slept on the kid, and I bet that they regret it. Check the roster, homie, got it locked in, and they dread it. They don't get it. On the road to be labeled the greatest. Waste time trying to sleep on the leisure. Not a fact that I'm underestimated. On 
Only makes me three, but sweet To fuel my passion, all I need's a reaction Use the negative energy as a tool for my craft And y'all would never get rid of me even if I was passing I'd be settled in history legacy that's established through action People critique my fate, call me the underdog Patient to feed my way, I overcome nods That was a really fun workout uh, The running, surprisingly, you kind of underestimate a squat with an empty barbell because we're so used to always loading it with weight of some sort I feel like or using heavy dumbbells or things like that it's just a totally different stimulus to go the opposite way and so in my head it was kind of like well gotta go pedal to the metal just go so that was my goal um, was to just one go as fast as I could throughout everything and there's no pacing that needs to be involved because uh, I like the lighter weight and the endurancy style of movement. So for me, that was a great workout. I really enjoyed it. Hold on to the gymnastics and just try to keep moving. I don't know if Pat enjoyed it so much. First CrossFit workout back, but he did it with me so I didn't have to do it by myself. Which again, if you can find a training buddy, you can jump into class, you can find things to help push you just to up your intensity. I don't have a problem working hard, but getting to that next level it's helpful to have people around and an awesome support system and they'll just push you and keep you in it mentally and it's it's awesome we'll see what pat thought about this workout so chrissy just said there's no pacing involved in this one and i cannot disagree with that anymore um, i went out with her on the first 400 and just kind of tried to keep up which typically would be okay and i came back and i'm pretty sure i miscounted my first set of squats because i was so winded um, there's this saying if you don't use it you lose it I will attest to that. That's not just a saying, it is a hard truth. I was sucking wind so bad. Um, the mats being really hot too were killing me and I walked multiple times on those runs. So this was a little humiliating. I thought it was gonna be an easier transition back in. It was a fun workout, but I needed to pace that a lot more because um, I did not last. My pace dropped off severely and I was dying. Uh, so it was super fun, but I've got some building to do to where I can kind of at least tag along because I was about to get lapped. It's okay if you walk sometimes. I mean, hey, he walked. <laughs> I, didn't have an, I didn't have an option. <laughs> uh, but just remember that too, don't be hard on yourself, especially if you are coming off an injury. I think it's a great example. Just get back into it, it's not easy. Coming off an injury is hard, it's frustrating, um, but just do it and get back into it and just accept it and one day at a time. And I think that's something to learn as well. I actually try to preach this to class a lot as well, that pacing a workout, especially from the beginning, makes it a better workout for you as well as more enjoyable. And if I was to do that again right now and I paced it better do from it the again. beginning, I could do that without walking in just a lighter jog throughout the, the whole course of the workout. So pacing does play a huge role for most people, uh, but you know, it was fun. We are now working on some dead stop pressing. So one thing we know, and that was also highlighted again in the 40 strict handsman push-ups in the Rogue Invitational, is I struggle with pressing. I love to pull. I can pull all day, uh, muscle-ups, pull-ups, things like that. But pressing for me, I do okay to about here. So right about my eye level, top of my head. And then I cannot finish my motion, whether it's a strict press, a push press, a thruster, that's what happened on the thrusters and the invitational workout, uh, handstand push, everything. So what we're working on right now is we have the bar set up right about my eye level. So if I would come here, it's eliminating the part that I'm decent at. And now it's just focusing on getting tight and finishing the extension in the press and getting my head through. So we're gonna do three dead stop reps. So that way I don't get the momentum of bouncing off everything and I have to reset every time and hopefully build some strength in my triceps so I can start to finish out these strict handstand push-ups, get better at thrusters and just get better at pressing in general. But this is definitely gonna be a highlight for us these next upcoming 12 weeks so I can make sure that I can hone in and really dial in some pressing and hopefully improve on it by the time I compete again. Really hard. I ended up doing 10 sets of three dead stop. So no bounce, nothing. It just comes right back down. You reset, take your breath and press for one set every 30 seconds for 10 sets. I started at the weight and I actually had to drop down because I wanted to focus on the quality and not getting into that poor position of where you're pressing back, trying to use your chest to get your head through, which is what tends to happen on my handstand push-ups. So the goal of this, even though the weight was lighter than I wanted, is to train good movement patterns, good quality movement so it can transfer onto the wall. 
For me, every rep with this dead stop, this feels like almost out of the bottom of a strict handstand push up when I'm starting to fatigue and I'm getting really, really tired and I'm fighting and I almost start to arch away from the wall, which is what we don't wanna do. So it just mimicked that position um, without putting a lot of pressure on my neck and on my cervical spine. So it's just a really great way that you can train your handstand push-ups, you can train your pressing in other ways than just being upside down and landing on your head a lot. So if you feel like you struggle with that or you wanna get better at handstand push-ups, this is a great way to incorporate pressing into your routine. You could also switch it around, and I've also done it seated from the floor. Bar starts around your eye level, so we're just in that top half of that press. And you could do maybe three sets of eight reps to a heavy eight instead of the single threes at a heavier weight. So definitely play with those two things. Um, add them into your training plan. Let us know how it goes because I think you're gonna love it. Today was a really good day. I feel like I got better. I highlighted some pressing imbalances or weaknesses, but I guess they weren't highlighted. We already knew they were there, so we figured out some stuff to do to fix them, so you guys should try that. Uh, stuff like this is we offer on ibextrain.com, so if you click the link in the bio, the Strength Accessory Program has some really great pressing stuff, also some awesome squatting pieces, and then you can follow along with whatever workouts I'm doing on Christy's training plan, and I also pick some of the Ibex 60 workouts, and I get to do those as well. So you could also do the Ibex 60 and do some really fun workouts. So check out that website. We've also got accessory programs. Other than that, it's just, you know, the first week of July is coming. So here in the States, we're gonna be celebrating the 4th of July at the end of this week. I've got, I think, a special friend coming in to work out with me and get together with at the end of the week that I'm lo really looking forward to. And I'm gonna be jumping into Murph with our gym, CFP, at the end of this week. So it's just a lot of exciting stuff coming, taking time to enjoy the weather, and just continue chipping away at weaknesses, getting stronger, getting fitter, and feeling good. Also, don't forget, like we talked about earlier, counter water. I bet it makes a world of a difference for you. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I hope you have a great day.